All right, what's up, YouTube? My name is Jake, and welcome to the Pickle Vlog. Uh, this is going to be a vlog series that follows my journey through pickleball in San Diego. Uh, I'm going to be joining a tournament soon, so hopefully you guys can uh, see a little bit what that's like. But more than that, this vlog is going to cover informational topics, including some drills, some gear reviews, some paddle reviews, uh, and also just highlights of me playing. Uh, this first vlog is going to cover how to set up your own court and then also some uh, basic gear that you may need to get started uh, playing pickleball. And I'm hoping uh, this vlog may inspire some people to pick up the sport. Uh, it is rapidly growing and is easily the fastest growing sport in America. Uh, and the demographic, the age demographic of the sport is also trending down uh, quite significantly. So this is no longer the sport that like your grandma plays or something while well, your grandma may play it, but uh, it's more open to younger generations and more competitive generations of people too. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start you guys off with uh, how to set up a court in your backyard if you have the space. So here we go. All right, so here's my pickleball court that I just set up. Uh, the dimensions of this court are 44 by 20 feet. And then you have the two kitchen zones. So from this line to this blue line right over here, and that is 14 feet, so two seven foot sections. And then uh, one line down the middle. So for setting up a pickleball court, it's best to use a cloth court tape which you can get for about $22 uh, on pickleballcentral.com. And that type of tape does a good job like against weather and stuff. And normally if you lay down lines, it'll last you at least a year, uh, generally. You can make it last longer too. And it's very important to uh, wash the surface you'll be playing on with some water and then sweep it up a little bit so the uh, tape sticks really well. All right, guys, uh, let's check out some gear that you might need to uh, start playing pickleball. So first and most important, got to get a good pair of shades. Uh, if you don't look good, don't feel good. If you don't feel good, you don't play good. So I recommend Blenders. Uh, it's a San Diego-based brand. Uh, the founder is actually from SDSU, and they make really quality and economic uh, glasses. They don't cost that much. They're only 60 bucks and they are great. I love them. Don't have to worry about screwing them up either. Got another pair right here. Pretty cool. Pretty stylish. All right. So moving on from there, let's talk about some other gear. So first of all, need shoes. So get yourself a good pair of tennis shoes. I recommend it or anything that has good stability and support. Basketball shoes work good too. However, uh, they get beat up really fast and they get really chewed up. So tennis shoes, as you can see here, these are the Wilson Rush Pro V3.5. So this is a good pair of tennis shoes. I think these ran like 125 bucks. You can find cheaper options out there. But anyways, uh, what's nice about tennis shoes is they have a lot of, uh, they have toe guard. They have some support right here as well. It's rubber. Uh, and they're basically, they're built to last. They don't uh, rip and tear easily. And also they provide great support for all the uh, agile movements that you may be going through in pickleball. So uh, from there, uh, let's talk about balls. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> uh, Franklin X40. You can pick these up for 10 bucks at Walmart or on Amazon. Uh, that is a ball of choice for most pickleballers. Uh, they're used in most tournaments as well. And, uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, quality. There's other brands too. I like these the best, so. Uh, from there, we'll go and look at some paddles. So I got two here to show you. Uh, here, we'll start with this one. So this is the Paddle Tech, uh, Bantam EXL. And this is more of a power paddle, so it's a little bit thinner, uh, a little bit harder surface. Uh, so it's, it's good for hitting the ball hard, uh, which I like. However, I just got a brand new paddle, and it fits more into the control category. 
I went with the Head Gravity. Uh, this pal retails for about $170. Uh, and yeah, uh, so far I've liked it. I used it once today. I'll show a couple of uh, highlights at the end of the video of me using it. Um, and so far I really like it. It has good control. It's got a big sweet spot. And this would be a paddle that I recommend um, if you're looking to invest in a paddle and you're just starting. It, it's very um, forgiving. It'll help you out, but even for advanced players, it's a, it's a great paddle overall. Uh, really easy to hit dinks and power shots even. Not as much power as the uh, other paddle that I have, but uh, it's good. And hopefully I'll do a full review on it in the next video. But moving on from that, uh, some other stuff you might need. Tennis grips, over wraps. Uh, so I have this on my Paddle Tech paddle actually. Uh, a lot of the manufacturers do not put good grips on their paddles, especially if your hands get sweaty. So the overgrip really helps with that. You can also vary how thick your grip is too, which is nice. Uh, the new paddle that I got, the head, very good grip on it. So actually, I might not even put an overgrip on it. But yeah, so that is the stuff that I recommend. Um, furthermore, in setting up the court, so you're gonna need a net and some court tape. So if you wanna set up your own court, that's what you're gonna need. Uh, some chalk and some uh, measuring tape would also help. So first of all, for the court tape, uh, I got this off pickleballcentral.com. It's cloth court tape. It runs about $22. One roll will give you more than enough tape to set up a court. In fact, I... I didn't even use half the roll to set up my court. So, highly recommend. Uh, you can chalk line a court. However, weather is obviously going to screw that up. So, I recommend using tape. Uh, takes a little more time. However, you can uh, have a court that lasts over a year, you know. So, that's nice. Also, for net, uh, you can see it in my court setup video that I had earlier in this vlog. And uh, I use the AMA Sports Net I got off Amazon. That runs about $90, and I will link that in the description. But so far, it's been a very good net, easy to set up, easy to take down, very portable. So yeah, I think that concludes our very first uh, episode of the Pickle Vlog. So thank you guys, and uh, tune in next week. guys uh thanks for watching and tune in next week i'm going to be going over more about my paddle my new paddle the head gravity uh and also going over some more game footage and how to hit certain shots so uh make sure you guys catch that and thank you